Ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. I'm John Lowe, the owner of a Dragon House. Right next to me, I have Evan Marshall, officially signed today. We'll be competing on our upcoming event, Dragon House 29, making his big time MMA debut, first fight ever. Um, now, Evan, good to have you on board. Good to be here. Um, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there in the Bay. Who is Evan Marshall? Where are you coming from and what got you into fighting? Uh, I'm Evan Marshall. I'm from Half Moon Bay, California, a uh, small kind of surfing town. Uh, let's see, I started fighting probably uh, like when I started wrestling when I was really little, like seven, eight years old. Uh, I had a lot of energy, so my dad's like, all right, let's, let's get you wrestling. Let's get you doing something productive. Um, so I wrestled a lot when I was little, and then maybe like middle school, uh, one of my friends started doing jujitsu, and he's like, oh, this, this is pretty cool. It's like wrestling, but you can choke people, you know, and you can break people's <laughs> arms. So I, was like, I was like, all right, that sounds pretty cool. You know, I'll try that out. So I got into jujitsu, and that's how I met um, Raul Castillo and Adam Piccolotti. They all, um, they're all out of Raul Castillo Mixed Martial Arts in Half Moon Bay. So they've, they've been with me for years now, you know. So then it was like, oh, well, what's the next step naturally? It's like, well, you don't know how to throw a punch, so we should probably work on that. So got to middle school, learned how to, learned how to box, learned how to kickbox, and kind of just tied everything together. So what made you want to make that step to actually think about jumping into the cage, become a cage fighter? Oh, I've, it's something I've always wanted to do. You know, I look up to Raul and Adam and Matt and Sam and all these guys, right? And they, they've all done it. I see them go from amateur to pro and... That was always just saying, like, I want to get in that cage and see what it's all about, you know? So now, I know it's too early to ask you this question, you know, but for, for, for yourself, what do you see yourself, you know, to get into the cage, become a cage fighter? Do you see yourself, like, doing this for a few fights, or you want to make it as a career? Uh, that's a tough one, you know? Uh, right now, I'm in school, so I still have two more years of school, and then after that, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Probably not what my dad wants to hear, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now this upcoming fight, you're against the guy Darius um, uh, uh, Rias. Um, he's a he's a boxer. His background is also a high school wrestler. What's your game plan coming into this fight against him? Uh, well, I actually didn't know anything about him until like five minutes ago. Uh -oh. But um, <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna fight my fight. You know, I'm, I'm confident anywhere the fight goes. I've been training for this for you know years now, so I think my wrestling will help me dictate where the fight goes. If I feel comfortable on the feet, I can keep it on the feet. If I want to take him down, I'm confident that I'll be able to take him down. So now you're fighting 100 feet, 145 pounds in yeah. featherweight. What do you walk around weight? Uh, I'm not that heavy, probably like 158, 160 on a big day, you know? So, so. so it's just some small weight cut. Yeah, not that bad. So look like it's gonna be seeing um, Evan Marshall in the wrestling competition on our upcoming event. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to buy tickets to come watching you fight, uh, how can people contact you? Uh, the best way to get tickets is, well, if you have my number, just uh, shoot me a text message. Uh, I have Instagram, Evan underscore Marshall. Um, you can email me if anyone has email, Evan underscore Marshall at Yahoo. And uh, if you got my Snapchat, you can always Snapchat me if you want. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, any special people, uh, sponsors, special people you want to shout out to? Uh, sponsors, not really, but I would just want to say thank you to everyone at uh, Raul Castillo Martial Arts. They've been with me for years. Raul Castillo himself, Adam Piccolotti, Sam Temko, who I knew him before, and then he started coaching me in wrestling, so that was pretty cool. Uh, Matt Aragoni, all the guys that have come through here. Uh, Ed Ray, Emilio, Hugo, all my training partners. Uh, thank you, guys. I mean, pretty much your whole camp, your coach, they all fought in the Dragon House. Before. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good uh, stepping stone for people to make it to the big lead. Um, one of the best regional show, the oldest regional show in the, uh, NorCal. So um, for more information about our upcoming fight card, check out DragonHouseMMA.com. This is a huge stack card. So far, it's 22 fights all locked in, signed, ready to lay out uh, for July 21st. So hopefully no, none of the fighters get injured, have to pull it out, and this will be a really big stack card for all the MMA fight fans out there. Definitely will be a treat. Now, if your, fight, uh, your opponent watching this interview, Darius, we have, uh, what do you have to say to him? Um, thank you for taking the fight. I've always wanted to fight, so I, you know you need an opponent to fight, and uh, let's let's just do it. You know, get in there and have a fight. See what happens. So, do you think this fight will go to distance, or you think this fight will go to um, you know decisions or? Uh, I hope it doesn't go the distance. You know, that's that's not my goal. My goal is to go in there and just 
you know, give it my all. And if it ends going ends up going the distance, I know I can fight for six minutes. I can fight for ten minutes. I've been fighting my whole life, you know. So we'll see where this goes. All right, let's check it out. Drag, Dragon House 29, July 21st. Let's see what this young man's bringing on the table. Um, this event is live stream pay per view. Make sure all you guys order your pay per view voucher if you're not in town to watching some of your friends or fighters from your gym and fighting on the card. You can order your pay per view voucher from the DragonHouseMMA.com. It's a big stack card. Check out the layout of DragonHouseMMA.com as well. All the fighters up there. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of love and support and give us a thumbs up on Dragon House MMA fan page on Facebook. Uh, we appreciate it. Put up another epic event for you guys. Any last word to all the MMA fight fans out there? Uh, come out and support. Uh, Hardy San Francisco, Keysar Pavilion, be there or be square. Awesome. Good to have you on board. <laughs> right, good to be here. Thank you. All right.